Well, I'll be damned. I didn't know you were a criminal mastermind, Miss Caulfield. <laughs> There's a lot you don't know about me. <laughs> Truly, is nothing easy? How do we get around that? <sighs> I'm not despairing yet. Let me take a look. Oh, yeah. Easy peasy. Sure about this? Positive. <clears throat> Wait for it. Go! about descending into the mouth of hell. I think this is the part where we abandon all hope. Ooh. All hope of not contracting tetanus, maybe. <laughs> uh, I had a friend in undergrad who was obsessed with this building. She never broke in, though. She clearly wasn't as crazy as you. <laughs> Urban exploration is kind of my thing. I can't see a busted old place and simply not go into it. What is it about empty spaces? Aw, uh, I don't know. An abandoned building has the potential to be anything. Just by going inside, I make it into something new. Hell yeah, let's hit the bar. Not a bad shot. Oh, let me just... Don't! What? I don't usually rearrange the space if I can help it. I want it to look exactly like it would without human interference. Got it. Hands off. Is there anything that I should be doing? I'll have a vodka martini. Any cocktail I make you here will be entirely spiders. Ugh. So what are we looking for exactly? Besides photographing random detritus. Most of the shoots I do, I... Find a focus. Something to hang the rest of the series on. I'll know when I see it. Something... Lonely. The loneliest thing you can find. <laughs> gotcha, boss. Oof. Try not to breathe too deep. This place looks like it's 90% asbestos. I'm glad Sophie's having fun. Hey, Hate to bring an unappreciative audience to a trespassing. Hurry up. I think this thing is alive and hungry. What are you smiling about? Nothing. Hail Satan. Hmm. Edgy. 
Ready to pledge yourself to the Prince of Lies? God, I haven't been bowling since I was little. John Whittle. Maybe if I just ignore this, nothing will pop out of it. Fun party, though. There was an ice cream cake. Guess these haven't been greased in a minute. Wow. It looks so much cleaner than it did online. Are there photos? Yeah. The old website is still up. Wonder who's paying the hosting fees. Someone who loves kitsch. And dust. Guess these haven't been greased in a minute. Good thing this building isn't on campus. My mom would definitely have had it raised to the ground by now. Think of the expensive new lit building she'd replace it with. For sure. Expensive, new, and... Inoffensive. I've never bowled anything above a 180. Way to go, Doug. Oh. Oh, Doug, no. My money's on one half full Bic lighter to win it all. Oh, man. I'm nine years late for my free slice of za. For sale, bowling shoes. Extremely worn. Shoes? Are shoes lonely? Super lonely. Sans feet. Shoes were the subject of the first photo of mine your mom ever saw. Oh my god! This year's Caledon University artist in residence sent my mom foot pics? <laughs> I guess there are just some things about your mom you don't know. Ugh, I'm gonna throw up. It was a shot of a messy closet in a condemned house. Someone left behind all their shoes. Your mom loved it. Hypocritical of her considering she never liked it when my closet was messy, but... Figured out what your focus is gonna be yet? Not yet, but I'll know it when I see it. Relatable. Sometimes I feel like someone is eating my brains with a spoon. I told you this place was the portal to hell. Behold, a devil. Aww, it's cute. I think it looks like an off brand. Brand Eminem. Yeah? I think it looks like Mr. Peanut on meth. And I hate it. I wonder if there's any way to get it out of here. 
What? You mean steal it? It's not like anybody is gonna miss it. Couldn't you steal something that doesn't feast on the tears of orphaned children? Well, it doesn't even matter. It's way too big to drag out with just the two of us. Oh, hey, my very own Mr. Peanut on meth. Life fine. I could never resist a deal. I'll pass. Is this seizing the means of production? Do gumballs have an expiration date? I'm glad Sophie's having fun. Hate to bring an unappreciative audience to a trespassing. If a roof collapses in a bowling alley and no one is around to hear it... Can you still collect the insurance money? The world may never know. They must have thought something was worth preserving, back when they closed this place down. So much for never rearranging a space. Damn. I bet that was stunning when it caught the light. Oh shit. That's it, huh? Centerpiece you wanted, right? The loneliest thing in here, or whatever. It was made to be beautiful. And now no one ever looks at it. Until today. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Not in love with this angle, though. <sighs> there. Help me find a way up. You got it, boss. Looks like someone has used this to get around those stairs. No thanks, I value my ankles. Been bad. See, this is why you need an assistant in case you break your ass and need an ass ambulance. 
Go get your shot. Let me figure out how to get you back down. Armed and ready. Let's find that shot. How are your parkour skills? Um... Any other options? Other? Yes. Better? Uh, I'll keep looking. The gnomes smoking weed really pull the place together. Wonder if the birthday room was any less terrifying back in its heyday. Are you here because I took one of your children? Have I unlocked some foul curse? Pretty shitty leaving these around for someone else to find. That's the second biggest monkey DJ I've ever seen. Yes, this is the angle I need. <laughs> wow, ballet service too? This place is bougie. Please remember to tip your ladder driver. Did you get your shot? Let's get the hell out of this death trap! Come on, I'm starving. This loneliness makes me want a sandwich. Beautiful dismount. Check this out. It's perfect. Oh, show me the angle. Oh my god. What? Are you okay? <laughs> oh. I need a drink. Do you need a drink? You read my mind. Uh, turtle? Turtle. My powers might not last. That's okay. We will. Chloe! Max. Max. You dead? Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, no. Not dead. Just thinking. Cosmopolitan for Max, vodka shot for Safi, very on brand in both cases. Perfect. Thanks a ton, Amanda. Hey, you look really good today. You think so? I switched shampoos. Oh, not sure about it yet. 
So, what are you up to later? <laughs> I've got a dark room all nighter in my immediate future. <laughs> that Protestant work ethic's a killer. You know she was flirting with you, right? What? Amanda, are you actually this oblivious? Okay, hold the phone. I know when someone is flirting. It just takes me a while to decide if I want to flirt back. Didn't you go on a multi-year cross-country road trip? Did you get laid even once? Safi? <gasps> is this about the blue-haired girl whose picture you keep in your wallet? Wait, you snooped in my wallet? Stop deflecting. The girl with the blue hair. What's the deal with you two? Look, we were kind of high school sweethearts, okay? High school breakup turned into Miss Havisham? It was a little more complicated than... Can, can we change the subject now? No, come on. You never talk about yourself. Would it kill you to open up the teeny tiniest bit? What happened? I mean, we were together for kind of a long time after high school. And then we weren't. She wanted to live in the future. I was too hung up on the past. That's all you're getting. For now. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> now change the damn subject. Deal. Amanda. Thoughts? Ugh, fine, yes. I have a big, stupid crush on a hot girl. So does half a lakeport. Amanda's a total catch. Half of Lakeport doesn't have what you have. A Safi. I can help you navigate the complicated waters of love. First step, talk to her. About what? What do normal people even talk about? Mostly gas prices. But we're aiming a little bit higher. I mean, go look around. She's responsible for half the decor in this place. Learn what she likes. Yeah. Yeah. Why the hell not, you know? Okay then. Ooh. Time to go be normal. All I have to do is find some things Amanda likes and then talk about them. I can do that. <laughs> what a bunch of dorks. I wish I could have seen the show, Chloe.
The Abraxas is a student society. They do performance art, which as far as I can tell, just means juvenile pranks. So no way. The soup future is in my hands. All I have to do is find some things Amanda likes and then talk about them. Diamond and Reggie came to a few of my seminars, but I've never seen them hanging out before. I thought I was Caledon's resident Polaroid taker, but clearly someone else is. Ah, uh, undergrads. What? There's no way this is meant to be like this. One day, I'd like to play Go with Moses and Safi. Just have to learn the game first. Hell yeah, Diamond. Way to go. How do you do, fellow kids? You guys aren't sticking around over Christmas, are you? Let's see. Stay here, or go home and let my dad drag me to church three times a week. <laughs> oh, I'll be here. Besides, a lot of the Abraxas kids stay over break. We've all got tasks to finish. What kind of secret society assigns busy work? The kind that's famous for immature pranks and ragers. So, why do people join Abraxas? It just sounds like a lot of stress. The only thing worse than being in Abraxas is not being in Abraxas. If you want any recognition at all. It didn't used to be this way. It used to be about activism and creating art that matters. Now it's mostly for networking and worshipping Vin Lang, the president. Sounds like a bummer. Well... Good luck, you guys. <laughs> I bet you ten bucks she asks her out. I saw what was in your pocket, Reggie. You have no ends. Could you at least buy me another beer? Nope. You've had enough today. Can you blame me? I'm barely passing econ. I've never been able to say no to a good lagoon. The people have spoken. How does she make bartending look so easy? Jeez, Amanda has a huge family. Wonder what that's like. Amanda recommends Misery Cult, huh? 
I can work with that. Ah, yes. The telltale signs of a 10 coffee all nighter. Good beer, good ethics. What else could you ask for? I'm not ready for a full-blown conversation yet. Amanda probably knows which beer is actually good. I could ask her. Oh man, I want to get on the bad pickup line board. I wonder if anyone here knows any good ones I could borrow. All right, I have a handful of topics. I am completely and totally prepared to talk to Amanda like a normal human being. Though I can always- Safi says the bands that play here are small, but have heart. I'm not sure if that's a compliment. Busy night? Ugh. Julie called off, so I haven't gotten a single break all shift. My bladder's about to explode. Oh, pee. You can talk to me later. It's a fabulous idea. Don't go anywhere. That's the third glass this week, Reggie. I got this. Bathroom. Now, you are a literal angel. I owe you. Out of the way, freshman! Reggie's lucky I'm not gonna make him sweep up the glass. Mercury must be in retrograde. Come here, my sharp little friends. Moonlighting, huh? Hey, photography's a tough industry. Next time, remember, the class goes on the table. <laughs> oh, my bladder thanks you. Tell your bladder it's my pleasure. So hey, you were gonna say something before all that. Recommend a beer for someone who hates the taste of beer. Handlebar cider. That's the maxist thing on tap. How did you- It's my job to know the regulars. I am the all-seeing eye of Lakeport, Vermont. <laughs> You're starting to sound like one of those Abraxas guys. That dork-ass rich kid secret society bites your tongue. Those photos on the wall over there. Is that your family? Yep. All six of us, my poor mother. <laughs> I love those goobers. Plus, I'm the oldest, so they have to do what I say. Mm. I gotta know what the deal is with the pickup lines. My buddy Henry and I were co-headlining a comedy night. Holy shit, you do comedy? And this is the first I'm hearing about it? Sorry, sorry. Listening quietly, please proceed. So the whole drive up, he's telling me the grossest pickup lines he can think of, trying to get me to squirm. Dumb, bro shit. Anyway, it turned into a competition, which I won. Nobody knows grosser pickup lines than a small town lesbian. And the competition turned into the chalkboard? So? Give it a shot. What's the best pickup line you've got? Hey baby, I seem to have lost my number. Can I borrow yours? I like your enthusiasm. <laughs> so, you're a misery cult fan? For sure. <laughs> 
so cool that you know them. Uh, yeah, they're great. The, um, guitar solos, the, vo the vocals. So, you've never heard of them. <sighs> Fuck. Busted. Don't hate me, please. If I had a nickel for every time I pretended to know what the Smiths sound like. So, educate me. I want to know. Misery Cult were the first band out of Lakeport to make it big. They kind of founded the Lakeport music scene. Lakeport has a scene? Like, multiple bands? Yeah, man. This town's pretty sick outside of the academic bubble. So, I was thinking... That we should totally do something in Lakeport sometime? You could show off the local music scene. Oh, hell yeah. There's this band, Revenge Horse, that I've been meaning to check out. Based on that name alone, I'm 100% in. Plus, pretending to be in a revenge horse is way cooler than pretending to be in a misery cult. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, um, ugh, uh, I like to make sure that boundaries get set early. Uh, so, zero pressure, either way. But, is this a date thing or is this a friend thing? I was kind of definitely thinking a date thing. You're really fucking adorable. It's a date then. Look at you, Max, doing normal people shit like some kind of healthy, productive member of society. How do you feel? I have no idea. The last ten minutes are a total blur. But Amanda's really cool. Moses! Hey! Oh, how was the shoot? We almost died. We didn't almost die. Yeah, because I saved us. I deserve a medal. <laughs> So what are we doing? The night's young. We should hang out. Just the three of us? There's a meteor shower tonight. I'm conducting research, but it could be fun with other people. You should come, both of you. That's perfect. All we need is, hold on. <laughs> She's a mile a minute tonight. <laughs> She gets this way when she's in a good mood. Courtesy of Madame President Mommy Dearest. At least until she remembers that I have her credit card. <laughs> Shall we? Give me the Cliff Notes version of what we're actually here to see. A bunch of little pieces of a shattered asteroid. From 11 million miles away. This is what I get for introducing you two. Wow. So should we be worried about this crazy asteroid hitting Earth? <laughs> Not in our lifetime. And it'll probably disintegrate before it reaches the surface. All right, Max, you have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? Oh, I'm documenting that shit. Can you imagine how cool an apocalypse photo set would be? Oh my God, this again? Nobody would see it. I'm telling you, art requires an audience. Otherwise, it's just... Okay, jeez. Agree to disagree. Awful quiet over there, Murph. Don't want to weigh in? 
Oh, uh, I wasn't listening. But, hey, looks like the equipment's working. Eek, why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right now? No, I'm with you. I'm freezing. Got any extra room in your burrito? There's always room for you, Max. Oh, I brought cups. Figured that was better than passing the bottle around. This is the best you could do? I don't work in this building. Don't blame me for the astronomy department's bad taste. Mine says I'm the world's horniest grandma. Grab a mug, Max. Why not just come out and say it? I have some good news. Uh, it's big, but I can't tell you what it is. You can't tell us you have good news and then- I don't want to say anything else until everything is finalized. Mysterious. Well, whatever we're celebrating, I think it calls for a selfie. Oh, let me, I just got this camera and I want to get some good use out of it. What should we say? Damn, I think I have hypothermia. Moses, Moses has hypothermia. hypothermia. I've got income. I'm gonna, you know, um, do my thing. <laughs> Good news, huh? You two and your secrets. How you ever hold a conversation with each other is beyond me. I'm dying to know what Sophie's good news is. Maybe I can somehow convince her to spill. Moses and Safi have been friends for years. Maybe he could help. Only the highest quality drinking vessels for the astronomy department, I guess. Safi's second favorite oral fixation. Dang. 
Safi snagged the good stuff from the snapping turtle. What exactly is a comet chaser? Amateur astronomer or fancy cocktail? You decide. We got some serious graph action going on here. I wonder if Moses knows how to get Sophie to talk. I love how Moses always looks so passionate about his work, even when he's just crunching numbers. Moses, this is all super cool. Show off a little. Hey, Moses. Doesn't some small part of you want to know what Safi's good news is? All right. I think I have an idea. But once we go down this road, we can't turn back. Um, okay. Give this to Safi, if you can. You'll probably have to trick her into taking it or plant it on her. Like a prank? No. This has rules. So it's more of a game. Whoever holds the bottle cap has to do whatever you say. Well, within reason. Moses, I have literally never wanted to play a game more in my entire life. You say that now. But Safi has a very loose definition of within reason. And she'll come for you next. <laughs> okay. Wish me luck. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh, you mean like talking to someone who has an obvious crush on me? First of all, how dare you? Second of all, yes, exactly. Okay, how am I going to plant this on Safi? Eat your heart out, Safi. Gwen and her wife are adorable. I need to hide this bottle cap somewhere that Safi won't find suspicious. Safi eats these when she can't slip away for a smoke. It'd be totally normal for me to offer her one and give her a bottle cap instead.
Now I've just got to deliver this to Safi. I thought Safi quit smoking. Is she stressed? That's a lot of cigarette butts. Are they all Safis? That's a lot of cigarette butts. Are they all Safis? Well, time to put my master plan into action. Sophie. Mm hmm. Find anything poemable? <laughs> the moon? Kind of. Though I'd hardly be the first. Carl Sandberg called it a friend for the lonesome to talk to. Mm, pretty. I haven't seen a moon this bright outside of Oregon. Oh, a Max biography nugget. <laughs> Those are rare. Never really talk about why you came here. You already know. Your mom threw me a lifeline. Pulled me out of freelance hell. One of these days, I'm gonna find out what you're running from, Max Caulfield. That's a promise. Want a piece of candy? There's a few left. Oh, twist my arm. <sighs> Shit. It's a conspiracy. Come on, Max. Surely you, of all people, would let a girl have her secrets. Ugh, fine. But this is your only get-out-of-jail-free card, and I'm taking the cat back for next time. You rule. I'll put back the curtain soon. I just need a few more days. Promise. <laughs> Yes, this is Sophia Llewellyn Fayad speaking. Be right back. So, uh, would you really take pictures of the end of the world? Yeah. Think about it. I take photos of empty buildings. An empty planet? <laughs> That's next level. Okay. But it's like Safi said. Nobody is ever going to see them. That's not necessarily true. Maybe aliens find my camera two billion years later. Or irradiated mutants worship your camera like a god. Exactly. Now you get it. You never know who's going to be left standing when the dust settles. Look at that. What a tail. Moses was right. This is awesome. Are you okay? Y yeah. All good. Just dizzy. Maybe the champagne. I think I'm gonna take off. 
Get some rest. I can give you a ride if you wait a few minutes. No, that's okay. I think a walk will clear my head. I think so. I'm glad Moses invited me out tonight. Caledon's a beautiful campus, but it's even better when it snows. What a perfect night for walking home. I'll just catch up with Sophie tomorrow. Amanda is a keen cultural anthropologist, I see. The father of modern astronomy ought to appreciate my dad jokes. Sophie's chain smoking again? Wonder what that call was about. Wow, Sophie. What did Mr. Snowman ever do to you? Another Polaroid? <laughs> nice. But who planted the bottle cap? And who took the photo? Don't get to take a shot like this every day. Wow. You're really watching me, aren't you? This is not a test. Max! The emergency broadcast system is now in effect. I caused this! I caused all of this! Max? Hey! Hey, hey, are you okay? Something's wrong. 
coffee. Hey! Come back! Sophie, she seems okay. I feel like I should check on her anyway. Better safe than sorry. Hang on. Oh, Sophie's fine. For a moment, I thought. Safi? Safi? Hey. You okay? Don't say that! I won't trade you! No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. I'll always be with you. Forever. Welcome to the wall, Safi. Shit. Fuck.
Damn, Chloe. I thought I lost you. Again. Amaze balls. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. No, Chloe. What's fucking insane is that being able to rewind time has only caused me more problems. And more heartbreak. If high school Max could see the places I've seen, the people I've met. We had a huge blow up not long after we took this. I'm glad to only remember the photo and not the fight. The bassist from the agnostic femmes named Faith, a punk band out of Oakland. She was... enthusiastic. I don't care if it makes me absolutely basic. I would 100% retire there. Her name was Chloe. I thought that was a sign. It wasn't. Milagros Midwest. A Mexican joint in Iowa? Run by the amazing Francia. Best enchiladas I ever had. If I could undo your death, Sophie, I'd do it without a second thought. I wish I'd been there to hear Sophie read it. I hate imagining what Yasmin went through writing this post. Fuck. She went through all of that alone. Place is a mess. 
shit, shit, shit! I'm a mess. Can't let Amanda see the mess downstairs. Better change out of my pajamas, too. This computer's come back more times than Jason Voorhees. Can't begin to imagine how hard this was for her to write. Let alone to keep that professional tone all the way through. Yasmin has been nothing but supportive throughout my time here. And I owe it to her to make time, should she need it. This site was mostly bullshit platitudes that were hard to take seriously. Thought about baking these, but that would have required a trip to the store, and that would have required me to leave the house. After the last couple of days, I had to reread Yasmin's letter to remind myself what I'm even doing here. Now to take care of downstairs. It doesn't get more batshit than twist the knife counterclockwise. And for Giallo, that's really saying something. I honestly hope they'd help me understand Sophie better. But now, what's the point? been more than a few days since I used this. I'm not exactly in a picture-taking frame of mind. Leave it to my very normal brain to respond to my most recent loss by fixating on the last one. One of the last things I got from Chloe. Even years later, this still sucks to read. Almost everyone I ever knew. Gone. Just like that. All because of me. Not really up for dragging Amanda down traumatic memory lane. Best to get this out of sight. Oh, better clean those up too. This isn't one of mine. How'd this get here? Looks like one of the previous artists in residence was also a fan of Neb. Or a Neb hater like Safi. No sign of Amanda yet. I've still got time. Sophie. Mmm. Grief dinner. It's chunky, though, so it feels like more of a substantial meal. If only a strong cup of coffee, or five, could speed me through what I'm feeling right now. Thank you, hot sauce. You're the only pick-me-up I've had the last day and change. I swear I'll clean that one pan eventually. 
Amanda will understand. The Lakeport cop investigating Sophie's death. I saw a very suspicious owl. Does that help, officer? Haven't been down to the dark room in a minute. It's dark enough up here lately. Pupil and Iris. This baby got me an international photography award and a spread in National Geographic. Safi. Safi got me the frame. One of the past Hellerton artists made this. Woodwork seems so unforgiving. You have to live with their mistakes. I've already cried through, like, four boxes of tissues. New personal record. I don't think Amanda needs to see a two-ply monument to my sadness today. It may get panned as schlock, but... The Brain Bucket Saga is my break glass in case of depression go-to. Amanda might be down to watch a decapitated head in a bucket wreak havoc, but probably shouldn't assume. been more than a few days since I used this. I'm not exactly how sad is it that this goofy ass thing reminds me of Sophie. Oh, Joyce. We lost you in the storm. Born and raised in the Pacific Northwest, but never made it to Canada till Chloe took me. Banff National Park? Better get these tidied up, too, before Amanda gets here. Amanda's at the door. I hope she isn't mad that I ignored her calls. Hey, Amanda. Welcome to hell. <laughs> oh, honey. We're doing dramatic goth kid grief. Go big or go home, I always say. <laughs> She's really gone, Amanda. Sophie was here two days ago, and now- I know, Max. I know. Why would anybody want to- I mean, she was just- I appreciate you checking in on me. You didn't have to. Oh, I 100% did. Nobody's seen you for two days. I'll begrudgingly admit, it is nice to see a friendly face. A friendly face. With food! Homegrown salad and homemade focaccia. Damn! Okay, then. I would have been happy with old Halloween candy and a Pop-Tart. <laughs> Full disclosure, I don't exactly have the biggest of appetites right now. Really? Eating always makes me feel better. Never encountered a mood that couldn't be improved by demolishing an entire pizza solo. You just wait till I'm feeling better. 
I could eat you under the table. <laughs> Wowzers. What? It's a common turn of phrase. You're the one making it dirty. I, I plead innocent. Oh, so you're just going to tweet through it then. <laughs> I won't be speaking further without my lawyer present. You need to eat, Max. The stuff that makes you feel close to normal again is usually what you need the most. Whoa. I haven't seen one of these since I was like 10. I would have figured instant cameras were a professional photography no-no. I like them. Always have. So, I don't know, tactile. Looking through the viewfinder, holding the photo in your hands, it feels more real. Another way to make you feel normal again? Taking a picture of your friend Amanda. Friend? Yeah, we... I know you asked me out. But honestly... You've got a lot on your plate. Emotionally. I can handle it. I've dealt with tough shit before. But I can't handle it. And it's not what either of us needs. At least, not right now. Trust me. Now how about that photo? That's what I'm talking about. I can't believe she's making me do this. How should I pose for Caledon's illustrious artist in residence? Show me your goofy side. <laughs> nice. How about another one? Different pose this time. Okay. Why not? <laughs> oh. oh, shit. Sorry. It's Sophie's mom. Um, just... Just a sec, okay? Hi, Yasmin. Hi. Hi, Maxine. How are you holding up? Uh, there's no graceful way to answer that question. Not without lying. Have you ever dealt with loss like this? Sadly, I have. It doesn't get easier, but it can hurt less with time. A bitter bomb. I wanted to talk to you face to face, uh, if possible. Doing this over the phone feels so... Of course. Um, I can come by today. I'll be in my office all day. 
Just let Vin know when you arrive. Everything okay? Not sure. I need to head to campus to meet with her. I can't thank you enough for coming by, Amanda. Psh, it's what you do. This is the one thing that brightened your mood today. Aside from me. <laughs> Come on. I'll walk with you. Yasmin's office is in the old administration building. Well, time to see if these jokers burn down the turtle in my absence. Will I see you later? You know where to find me. Better head to the admin building. Yasmin's expecting me. Damn it! Blow me, box! I wonder what's got Reggie so pissed off. Whoa! Very Hellraiser. I wonder what's inside. Shit's all yours if you want it. So, what's this about? It's an Abraxas puzzle box. It's got goodies inside, but only for those who can open it. Aren't you a member? Why all the arcane bullshit? Sorry. Society secret. I can tell you that it's meant to test a key of Braxis virtue. The eye for detail. Whatever the hell that means. You want to give it a shot? An eye for detail, huh? This is supposed to be that statue over there, right? The Founder statue? Yeah, I, I think so. Where's his other bird? There should be two. Huh? Oh, I didn't even notice that. Maybe this is supposed to be Thomas Caledon's missing crow. Is that... wax around it? Hey, do you have a lighter? Yeah? Why? What are you thinking? Observe. Whoa. No shit. Thank you. 
And? A second test. Of course. Oh, hell no. It, it's your headache now. Are you sure? Really. Good riddance. <laughs> Are you holding up okay? Me? I, I don't know. I, I didn't really know Safi. Seems kind of weird to be fucked up about it. Seems like there's a butt coming. I mean... I guess I'm fucked up about it anyways. <laughs> kind of seems like the whole campus is. I missed you in workshop last week. I'm trying not to take it personally. Yeah, you saw my last shoot. It was dog shit. It was rough. But it was honest. <laughs> You're a natural. Whether you like it or not. You think so? Shit. <laughs> I've never been a natural before. All right. Catch you later, Reggie. I still need to meet with Yasmin. Can't put it off forever. Graffiti Rock looks so... naked. Hello, Mr. Counselor. Would you like me to start with my time travel trauma, or should we dive right into finding my friend dead in the snow? This kind of art isn't really my thing. Unless it's the subject of a photo. This will help me get my bearings a little bit. This piece must weigh a ton, but it's barely touching the ground. These damn things are all over campus. Except where Safi actually needed one. It's just... All been so scary. She's gone. This feels so surreal. A bird on each shoulder. Wonder which one's the devil. The thing is, Thomas, pondering what might be will drive you insane. Just when you thought the online tests were behind us. No turtle for me. It'll look bad if Yasmin finds out I'm putting her off. Hang in there, David. Yasmin sounded like she... So, how'd you do me? The dating apps? The produce aisle? Fort Frosty was all anybody talked about last week. No one's really in the mood for snowballs anymore. Safi's murder brought the whole campus to a standstill. It touched everybody.
Okay. Yasmin's office is down the hall. Way to be a combo breaker. I should probably write something, even if I can't find the right words. It's fine, I guess, but what I really feel isn't meant for public consumption. Yasmin keeps her own cover issue in her office waiting room. A real girl boss move. So, black roses, huh? Must have been a pretty penny in the middle of Vermont winter. Thanks for nothing, Caledon Campus Security. Wow. Is this a student literary mag? Or a Lucas Colmanero fanzine? Ben Lang. Total mystery. What kind of title is administrative assistant, anyway? Howdy, Ven. Howdy. Let me guess. She texted you to come see her. I keep telling her to send all comms through me, but sometimes she goes rogue. How dare she use her phone without your permission? You think this is an easy gig? Kahuna's got a social calendar like a TikTok influencer. I'm sorry. Kahuna? That's borderline adorable. Oh. Listen. I'm, I'm really sorry about Safi. Thanks. Me too. She and I had our issues, but she was an amazing person and we're all gonna miss her. Issues? What could the two of you have to fight about? I got between Safi and her mom constantly. Could you blame her for hating my ass? It's good you're here. She's... Well, she's about like you'd guess. I don't know what I can do. Are you kidding? She's obsessed with you. I I'm a little jealous, actually. See, I only like favoritism when I'm the one who's favored. Why does that not surprise me? Well, she's got somebody with her now, so it'll be a few. Or if you're dying for stimulation, I've got a package waiting for me down the hall. You're welcome to get it for me. Does your beneficence know no bounds? <laughs> Fuck! you got to be kidding me. Sounds like someone else needs my help. Good luck. Have fun.
even waiting for Yasmin is a luxury experience. We playing today? Love a good fireplace. Love modern heating even more. I hate to ask, but any word on the proposal you sent Dr. Fayad? If only. Nothing makes you feel alone like a chair made for two. Self publishing before it was cool? Who are you, Maya Okada? Dr. Gwen Hunter. She was Safi's mentor for a long time. Was she the one I heard from down the hall? Maybe I can help. Gwen? All good? Uh... Max. I, uh... So... I'm a hugger. Um... Are you a hugger? World champion hugger, as a matter of fact. Bring it in. God, I didn't realize how bad I needed that. <laughs> I couldn't just stand there. You look like you were walking around in a trance. That's pretty much how I feel. Is there anything you need or that I can do for you? Actually, I was hoping to give you a hand. You sounded like you could use it. Oh, right. I came in here to pick up a book, but lo and behold, some genius locked it up. Oh, hey, you're like the, uh, breaking and entering queen, right? Think you can get past this lock? So that's what everybody thinks of me? The home invader? Bad reputation, twins. Boom. Bad reputation, twins. Expensive display, cheap lock. He loved to see it. Anything skinny and curved ought to do the trick. Think it's in your wheelhouse? Definitely. I just need to find the right tool. Those are too thick to pick that lock in the library. Is it weird that I know that at a glance? This must have the package Vin was worried about. I could bring it to him. Aha! Self-publishing before it was cool? Who are you, Maya Okada? That pen looks like the right size for Gwen's lock, but it needs more of a curve in it. Guess everyone's too literary for YA these days. Cowards. Never met the woman herself, but her bust feels like an old friend somehow.
Here you go. Saved you the trip. <laughs> What's this? Uh, don't tell me we're becoming friends. All right, settle down. You just caught me in a generous mood. <laughs> All right. What do you want? What do I want? Sure. Nothing's free. At least, not if you're smart. So, what do you want? Nothing now, but... You'll owe me. One favor. Delivered on demand. You drive a hard bargain, Caulfield. But I like it. <laughs> You're full of surprises. Yasmin keeps her own cover issue in her office waiting room. A real girl boss move. I can't imagine what I could do to make you feel better, Yasmin. But I'll do my best. This copy might be locked in the case, but it looks like I can grab Gwen another one from the library. Hold on now, you might feel a slight pinch. Holy shit! You did it! You're a lifesaver! Yeah, I probably should have figured that out myself. But uh, hey, what can you do? We're all a touch fucked at the moment. Anytime. My trusty spoon and I are at your service. Did Safi ever tell you about the manuscript she was working on? I don't know about any book, but she never talked to me about any of her works in progress. What a shame. I was always urging her to finish that manuscript, but she never had the time. Guess she never will. Thanks again for the help. And don't be a stranger, okay? My door is always open. Thanks. You too. Hey, Max. Moses, I... Yasmin's waiting for you. Are you okay? I've been... Can it wait? I'm like... a husk right now. I... I need a minute. Yeah. Sure. Meet me in the Fab Cafe. Grab a hot chocolate, and I'll find you when I'm done. I can do that. I am telling you to do your job. You're a parent, Chief Banks. Surely you... Of course. Yes? Please, anything you learn. Yes. Goodbye. That was the Lakeport Police Chief. Overconfident and underqualified. Sounds like the cops aren't being very helpful. Can't say I'm surprised. Yes. Well, 
They're the only thing at my disposal. Let me ask you something. Be honest with me. Safi and I weren't always so close. Things used to be... difficult. Did she tell you that? I don't know if she ever said it in so many words, but... I kind of gathered that you two didn't always get along. Was it so obvious? Pity. I'm sorry you were exposed to that side of our relationship. So, what's your question? Despite everything they have found, the police have still not ruled out suicide as the cause of death. Maxine, you and Safia were friends. She told you things she wouldn't tell me. Is there any reason to think she may have taken her own life? Safi would never have hurt herself, or anybody else. It's not who she is. That's what I believe as well. But sometimes, the people closest to us are capable of hiding their own pain. She was fine the last I saw her. She was excited about the future. And that's how I will choose to remember her. Happy and hopeful. I'm sorry. I wish I could have done more. You've done enough, Maxine. Thank you. Oh, um, before you go... We need a picture of Safia for the memorial materials. Would you mind taking a look and choosing your favorite? Sure. Pick one photo to capture Safi? That's a tough ask. I've been awaiting your call. I... Safi loved lazy Sunday afternoons. Safi knew how to be serious when she needed to, but... She was just such a dark. Whenever she spoke, you just couldn't help but want to listen. Safi cared so much about everything she did. Her passion should live on. Well, I did the best I could. Guess I should go find Moses. Yasmin is following the case really closely. Too bad they haven't found anything. No, it's an important meeting. We shouldn't push it. Of course, just re- Yasmin was so proud of Safi. We- Signed Yasmin. I had no idea she painted. It's not terrible, but it's a good thing she kept her day job. Yasmin got to see Safi's early drafts. That's a rare privilege. Damn, Yasmin. And I barely finished my GED. From what I've heard about Krampus, this must have been taken at the beginning of the night. I should talk to Moses. 
He's waiting for me in the fab. I wonder if Moses has gotten his hot chocolate yet. <laughs> it's really nice to have something small to laugh at, actually. I told you, don't contact me on this phone. And texts only, no calls. Hmm, this sounds interesting. Well, I'm, I'm sure the police know that already, even if... I understand that, but did they find anything? Interesting call? Uh, Loretta. Jeez, she scared the hell out of me. Did you need something? Need? Nah, I was just curious about Dr. Hunter's phone call. Seems I'm not the only one. Oh gosh, yeah, this isn't what it looks like. I was just waiting to talk to her. Hmm. Well, she didn't seem to notice. Well, since you're not busy, maybe you could help me out, you know? One snoop to another? I'm not, I... Just hold on. Let me relocate. What can I do for you? You could give me a quick soundbite for my podcast. I guess that's fine. What do you need? Just for background. You were close friends with Safi Llewellyn Fayette. Oh... Um... Yeah, we're... We were friends. Is it true she used school resources for personal purposes and that her mother turned a blind eye? I'm not gonna help you smear, Safi. If you're not into it, I'll just go interview Dr. Hunter instead. I'm sure we'd have a lot to talk about. Like, aware of Safi using her mom's position like that. Not on purpose, for sure. Just accidental nepotism. Gotcha. Think it was enough to piss somebody off? Seems like Safi rubbed a few people the wrong way. How should I know? Go talk to somebody who's been here longer than six months. Got any suggestions? Names? I've got a hunch Finn Lang knows a lot more than he's letting on. Interesting. Good lead. That'll do for now, I think. Thanks, Miss Caulfield. Screw you, too. It's a shame. I was so looking forward to being terrorized by St. Nick's shriveled mutant sidekick. How do I know if I can trust you? You don't, I guess. But... Didn't catch much of Gwen's phone call thanks to Loretta. Maybe something in here could tell me more. Damn it. She just locked this. If I could just... No. Even if I could rewind, that shit's behind me now. Is that a... P 
penguin head in the spokes? So, of course, nothing can happen on campus without some kind of Abraxas commentary. Moses seemed really torn up early. Oh, hello there. Which mailbox did you fall out of? Looks like somebody's been passing notes in class. Ugh. Of course the sender doesn't put a name on it. Ugh. Of course the sender okay. doesn't put a name Who on are it. are you, DGH? That's the literature chair. Wrong initials, though. Not DGH. Gwen Hunter, PhD. Dr. Gwen Hunter, DGH. Wait a sec. This is about that book that got moved to the display case. So, the book Gwen needed had a message inside it. I think I'm gonna hold on to this. I wonder if Moses has gotten his hot chocolate yet. Thanks for n And I thought Amanda couldn't get any cuter. If I can break into a bowling alley, I'm sure these chuckle fucks can bypass a dorm lock. Would you shut up? Took this right after I left Arcadia Bay. I think that's the most alone I've ever felt. Ugh, I can't even look at this right now. My old stuff is just cringe. What's that saying? If you're going through hell, keep going? Safi told me to look at this whenever I feel like an imposter. To remind me that I've earned this. I'll do it, Safi. I promise. Well? Amazing. Like most places, Lakeport is a... Don't you think they should have told us something by now? About the murder? Whoa. Coffee, for when you lose your will to live. The Sky Cat attacks. The Sky Cat attacks. I don't even know where to start. Hey, I'm sorry I didn't return your texts or call you. I should have. I get why you didn't. Really. And I'm sorry too. Probably should have given you some space. Listen, the last few days have been hell, but we're both here now, and we're going to get through. I just, I keep replaying it in my head. 
Could we have done something? Gotten there sooner, or called her when she didn't come back? Why didn't one of us go with her, Max? Why do we let her walk off alone like that? Don't. Don't torture yourself. We can't change any of it. What if I can't do this, Max? You can't. Neither of us can. Not alone. But the next time you need me, I'll be there. I swear it. Safi weighs heavily on us today. In fact, my best-selling novel speaks to this precise moment. Safi disliked my book, ironically, but sales don't lie. And being remembered for one's words is a kind of immortality. Grief is fleeting. But words... Words are deathless. They endure. I want to honor Safi Llewellyn and pay tribute to her unique voice. Hence why we're holding class on the quad today. Is that Lucas? Comanero, head of the lit department. God, what a pretentious creep. Safi hated his guts. It can be anything. Who knows? Maybe he had a breakthrough or something. You know, like, he was visited one night by three ghosts who showed him the error of his ways. That's at least a six ghost, two night job. <laughs> Safi never found the audience that so few of us enjoy. It's up to us to keep her fire burning. Tell me that shutting him up won't make me feel better. It won't. But I wouldn't blame you for trying it anyway. I'll find you later. I can't watch this. Ah, Lucas gets under my skin. I could try to shut him up. Or I could just stay out of it and go keep Moses company. Answering the nosy. Double entendres can't be his whole personality, right? At the end of the street, I pause to catch my breath. Jeez, Lucas, your class must be freezing and the fallen bird's nest. Jeez, what a dick. And I feel a forgotten hope. Max, good to see you. Who knew you were so self-centered? Dick move. Paying tribute to my colleague? Seems like you're paying tribute to Lucas Colmenero. You were close with Safi too, weren't you? Anything you'd like to say? Yeah, I think I could share a thing or two. I knew Safi well, and I 
I don't completely get poetry, you know? It's not my medium. But Safi made it seem cool. Because that's how she saw it. And the way Safi saw things was infectious. Enough of this. I should see how Moses is doing. I'd like to open this up to anyone else who wants to say. God, poor Diamond. I feel awful for Safi's students. Fond memories of Safi, or a particularly impactful. Extra security. So why don't I feel any safer? So, did it make you feel better? Shutting them up? Honestly, kinda. In a stomping on your Barbies while pretending to be Godzilla kind of way. Y you know that's not a universal childhood experience, right? Well, maybe it should be. <laughs> hey. I have a question about Safi. Okay. How did you guys meet anyway? I never asked. It's not much of a story. I came to Caledon late, mid-year. Safi was assigned to give me the big, shiny grad student tour. I think she saw it as a chore. Doesn't Yasmin have a VIN for that? Exactly. But uh, then she saw this bracelet I got in Kyoto. A little cherry blossom. I've always liked that bracelet. She just finished a poem called Hanami. It means watching blossoms in Japanese. I haven't thought about that in a while. What's the deal with this bench? You tease to sit here all the time. Oh yeah. Guess we did, huh? Uh, this was our lunch bench when we were both teaching summer school. For someone so chatty, she really got the appeal of comfortable silence, you know? Hey, Max. Yeah? I'm gonna use present tense for just a little longer. I'm not ready for Safi to be a was yet. I don't think I can pretend she's still here. That what happened didn't happen. Neither option seems tenable, does it? Okay. I think I might need a little alone time. Probably just as well. I gotta get over to the observatory anyway. You'll text if you need anything? Yeah. Promise. You too. Yeah? <laughs> no, no! You want to go in aggressive with the red deck. Hit hard and don't let up. Lose more tactical. Moses? It's not rock, paper, scissors. Any color deck can beat any other with the right cards. Yeah. Anytime. <laughs> Later. What the hell was that? What the? 
Where's that other Moses? How do I bring him back? I come in peace. Declare your allegiance. Come on, Diamond. Seriously? Conscientious objector. That's what they all say. I'm unarmed, okay? Just want to get out of Coco. That's it. Snowball down. Let the observer pass. What is going on? What am I seeing? Better keep following Moses until I figure it out. Where is that other Moses going? Gotta keep following that other Moses. I need to figure out what's going on. Where is that other Moses going? What are you doing out here? Your final's in five minutes. I'm not the one taking it. It's time for our Coco. Safi? You're hopeless. These poor kids pay tuition. Hey, I have a five-star rating on teacher. Rating. I can't believe Max would stand me up. You were supposed to have lunch with the turtle. This is happening. This is real. Probably afraid you'll charge the whole thing to a car. Oh my god, dude. Go. <sighs> it's too cold for this. That really was Safi. I think I have to get to her. Max, if you're not here in the next five minutes, I'm going to tell Moses that you don't watch his Blu-rays. Bye! If she could just hear me like I can hear her. Sophie! I'm right here! Right in front of you! Fuck it, I got pizza rolls in my office. Jeez, there you are. Thought I was gonna freeze to death.